Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the exterior angles theorem that deals with triangles. So what I'd like to do is just talk through the justification, the outline of what the proof would look like for this theorem, and then I want to use it in an example to show you how it works. So to start off with, we have a triangle here. The exterior angle theorem deals with one of the exterior angles of this triangle. An exterior angle we get that by extending one of the sides. So if I take this bottom side of the triangle and I extend it out, so now it's going beyond the triangle, the exterior angle is the angle that's on the outside of the triangle. So this angle here, which to re reference this, why don't we label these? So I'm gonna say that this is angle one, angle two, angle three, those are all of our interior angles. The angle on the outside, this is an exterior angle, and we'll call it angle four. Now we do have more than just this exterior angle. I could extend out any of these sides to create other exterior angles, but the theorem that we're looking at only deals with one of these at a time. So the exterior angle theorem, what it says is that this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. Angle three is the adjacent angle to angle four. They're right next to each other. So angle one and angle two, these are the two non-adjacent ones. So what the theorem is telling us is that the measure of angle four is going to be equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent. So that would be the measure of angle one and the measure of angle two. So now I wanna justify this. I want to convince you that this is true. So we know from the triangle sum theorem that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three, so the sum of the interior angles, we know that all together that is 180 degrees. Taking a look at the relationship between angle three and angle four, these are a linear pair. They're adjacent angles, they're right next to each other, and they form a straight line. So together, those two angles are going to be 180 degrees. So the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four, those together also add up to 180 degrees. They're supplementary. Now I have two equations here. I want to bring these two equations together I see that they're both equal to 180. So since both of these equations are equal to 180 degrees, I can set them equal to each other. So that's gonna give me the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three. And that is equal to the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle four. So now we get this big long equation with all of our angles in it and we have a measure of angle three on the left-hand side of the equation and a measure of angle three on the right-hand side. So if I subtract that from both sides of this equation, it's going to cancel out. It's gonna result in zero. And all we're left with is our exterior angle theorem. So using our angle relationships and a little bit of substitution to bring this all together, we end up with the measure of the exterior angle, in my picture it's angle four, this is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent angles, which are angle one and angle two. So now that we know the relationship, let's use this in an example. So here I have a triangle, and I wanted to find out how big this exterior angle is. To do that, I'm gonna need to find out the value of x. So with our exterior angle theorem, we can set up an equation. So our theorem is gonna tell us that the measure of angle JKM, so that's our exterior angle, that's gonna be equal to the sum of our two non-adjacent interior angles, which are angle J and the measure of angle L. Now substituting in what we're given, we have this expression for our exterior angle, 2x minus five, and then our two non-adjacent ones, we have x for the measure of angle j and 70 for the measure of angle l. So 
the theorem allows us to set up this equation, and we know that this is true, and now we can solve for x. So let's subtract x from both sides, and I'm gonna add five right in this same step. So two x minus x, we just end up with one x, and then 70 plus five, we end up with 75. So that means that angle J up here, this is 75 degrees. And now we can substitute that in to find out how big our exterior angle is. So the measure of angle JKM, if we substitute in 75, this is gonna be two times 75 minus five. So that's 150 minus five. So our exterior angle is 145 degrees. So that's how we can use the theorem. It gives us a way to set up these types of equations and we're able to find out how big these angles are. So the exterior angle, again, this is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles and that's our exterior angle theorem. Thank <laughs> you.